There's a few things I'd like to talk to you guys about before we get to the main topic of the video. So anybody that's in a big hurry to mix your gas and cut your grass, I put a timestamp link in the description that you can click on and it'll take you right where you want to be. That's handy. Yeah. Oh, you caught me off guard with your compliment. Thank you to everybody who voted in the poll last time asking what we should do for the next video. Most of you guys want to see more about the Super Sherpa. So right after we finished Jake and Jen number two, I took apart the master cylinder again off camera, cleaned it out really good, put it back together and reinstalled it on the motorcycle. We picked up at that point filming another video this week. I haven't finished editing it though, and that's why we're doing this today. That one should be ready by next Friday. Which Friday? Seven days from today. You don't sound like you have much faith in me. You have trouble with the calendar. <laughs> today, I want to share with you guys how I mix gas and oil for my two cycle engines. Typically, it's done by volume. You have a certain size of gasoline, and then you figure out from that what size of oil you need. Like size 10, size 12. You're complicating something that's already pushing the limits of my complicability understanding. Can you explain this? I figure out gas and oil ratios by weight rather than volume. It requires Isn't that more girth. To mix the gas, we'll use a scale and a calculator and gibberish. I really like this method, but it does have some challenges. The biggest one is that a certain volume of gasoline weighs a different amount than that same volume of oil, which makes things a little bit complicated, but it's just one extra step. Overall, I think it's still pretty easy. I'll show you how it works. You want to see how it works? Oh, yeah. You don't have to answer that if you don't want to. Didn't mean to put you on the spot. Really, I'm very interested. Yeah. I, I want to see. Let's mix some gas. You want to mix some gas? Yeah. Okay. So I've got a little bit of gas in this can. The way we do this is turn on the scale and I've got it set on metric because that's what my calculator is compatible with. So I'll put the can on here that I want to mix gas in. It's empty. Press tear so all that we measure is the gas that goes in the can, not the can itself. And then we'll dump in some gas. One advantage to this method is that if you're like me and you typically only have a few sloshes of gas laying around, you can still mix up a small batch. So it turns out all the spare gas I had in my can amounts to 1.13 kilograms. Now I need to choose what ratio to mix. We'll go with 32 to 1 because that number popped into my head. It doesn't matter though because the process is the same regardless of the mixture. The next step is to take the calculator and punch in 1.13 divided by 32 equals 0 0.353 kilograms of oil for a 32 to 1 mixture. But that is by weight since the heaviness of gas and oil are different we need to adjust for that. Gasoline weighs about 10% less than the two cycle oil I'm using. So we need to add 10% to this number. Plus 10% equals 0 0.388. We'll add that back to 1.13. So we need to add oil until this number equals 1.1 seven to be safe. I'm not completely sure the weight difference between gas and oil is exactly 10%. The amounts I compared earlier were pretty small, so check for yourself or mix it on the smoky side. Anyway, there's our number, which means we have approximately 32 to one gas and oil mixture. And I feel like a winner because you're still awake. <laughs> Disadvantages to this are you need to do math, you need a scale, and it's not extremely accurate. As you can see, my scale only goes out to the second decimal place, but I really think it's close enough. The good things about this are 
you don't need a measuring cup. You can mix any amount of gasoline that you want. Why am I selling this to you guys? Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching.